In this video, I'm going to show how to use the isBlank function in Google Sheets. So the isBlank function is a pretty simple way to check whether a cell is empty or not. It's a pretty straightforward function that is very easy to use. This is the basic syntax here. There is only the one argument, which is the value or the cell that you want to check to see whether it's empty or not. So I will just show you how to use it here. So equals is blank. And then I just put my cell as the only argument. And so what this function does is if that cell contains a value, the formula will calculate to false. And if that cell does not contain anything, if the cell is blank, it's going to return true. So that's the basics of using the isBlank function. Now the isBlank function is most often used in combination with other functions. For example, an if statement. So I will show you how to use that now. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine isBlank with an if statement. Basically what I'm going to do, what I want to do is I want to add these two cells together. I want to add a2 and b2 but if this cell contains a blank then I don't want to even add them together so what I'm going to do is use is blank to control for the blank cells so if it is a blank cell don't even run this calculation here just return a blank cell we'll just skip that that is what this formula is going to do so equals if is blank I'm checking this cell to see whether it's blank. If it's blank or if it evaluates to true, which it will if it's blank, then return an empty cell. And if it's not blank, let's run this calculation here and add these two cells together. And then I paste this down and now you can see on the one where this cell is blank, it doesn't even run my math formula here. So that would be how to use is blank in combination with an if statement, which is pretty useful because sometimes when you're doing calculations on a large data set, you don't want to do it if one of the cells is blank because you may get some kind of error. And so this would be a way to control for that. You combine if with the is blank function to basically tell your spreadsheet if the cell is blank return this value instead just skip it if it's not blank then you can run your calculation so that's pretty much it for this video this is a pretty simple function to use i just wanted to show this in case you did not know it already because it is useful thank you for watching the video if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.